Hi internet friends, it's Paul here from Rio Driving School and today we are going to have a rainy drive around Leechfield for a mock test with my friend Anna Maria. Yeah. So, before we get going, Anna, um, you kind of know what what you're up against with this process. It's a, a drive of 38 to 40 minutes long. Uh, would you like me to explain anything else about about the mock test that we're going to do? If you want. Well, it's it's the, as I say, it's 38 to 40 minutes long. You're going to be driving in a variety of different road and traffic situations. We're going to be pulling over it different situations as well to test that you're going to do one maneuver and possibly the emergency stop okay as well but not necessarily only one testing five happens to have the emergency stop in there um, and that's it um, keep the driver falls to a minimum nothing serious nothing dangerous uh, and, and that's that do you want me to guide you with a route today or do you want me to put one in that uh, I've, okay. I've uh, got in the sat nav here um i think you can guide me um okay. we've done the sat nav before haven't we okay. so yeah let me just turn that on for your benefit there so you can see the road layout as well yeah. right. so all right then so today i just want you to follow the road ahead unless something is said i'll tell you to turn left or right in good time okay all right. All right. We got a no question for me. You can carry on. You can ask me a question about the car. Oh, okay, can <laughs> do. Yeah. Um, all right. Then. So. Because last we, time you forgot and you stopped me midway, didn't you? <laughs> well, we, we we do. You're talking about the show me tell me questions. Mm, yeah. And, uh, yeah. We do one question while we're stationary and one whilst we're on the move. Okay. Okay. So a stationary question will be a tell me question. So. Can you tell me what the minimum legal tread depth for the tyre should be and how would we check to ensure they're safe to use for the road? So, to check if they're safe to use for the road, you would check for any cuts or bulges and make sure that there's none of that happening. Okay. Yep. And the minimum tread depth is 1.6 millimetres. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 1.6 millimetres across the inner three quarter width of the whole tyre. All the way yeah. around that yeah. 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 So yeah. But I got half of that right then. <laughs> yeah, well, well it, it certainly would be good enough, I'm sure. Yeah. But anyway, follow the road ahead and try and avoid a pothole there. And uh, at the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right, please. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. I'm much in need of good luck now. <laughs> I don't know why, it, uh, probably because you're filming, but this is more nerve wracking than the last time. Yeah. You're going to put me on YouTube feel a and. Bit different, yeah. yeah. Is this uh, the closer you're going to gonna get to with the real thing with the nerves? I'm thinking about the one on high vis jacket, just like the examiners would wear. Oh, yeah. And, and you can quite, just quite put, like put, put up an, an well. act as well. Yeah. Oh, you asked me to avoid that and I didn't, sorry. Yeah, I'm not I forgot about, about it. That, <laughs> I forgot about it. Oh, God. That's not a good start. I hope the cameras pick all this up today. I can't guarantee, though, with the rain, but we'll see what we get. just can't quite fully see to the right, so I'm just going to keep and creep. Okay, please take the first road on the right. First, this one, okay. Right. Just going to stop for this car. Okay. I've come to a full stop. Is it okay if I talk through? Yeah, of course that it is. That's great. Well done. Check my mirrors. I need a second. At the end of the road, turn left, please. So that's a stop sign road, isn't it? Okay. It's going to go 
more slow because he's very narrow. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing, isn't it? They're probably just recovering. Okay, put my handbrake on into first, and he's letting me go. So I'm just gonna go, but I'm stopping for the pedestrian. Stay behind the line. Stay behind. behind the line. Yeah. Okay. Come out at an angle. But, but make sure we're behind the line. Don't you don't need to straighten up the wheels, all right? Yeah. It's going to go very slow because I'm okay. still angled. At the roundabout, turn left, please. Left. Yeah. Never breach the stop line for any reason. You can come out at an angle and just stay. Was I on the line? You went past the line. Yeah. For that, in that situation, that would cost you the ten stop road. Safe we'll to talk go. Talk about that later. Okay. You didn't know that, but. I know you were trying to get out of the way. We, we don't breach the line. Right? Just checking my mirrors because there's these parked cars across. Okay. Checking back for cyclists. Uh, just continue ahead of the roundabout, please. Okay. So I'm just going to start braking now because I can't really see. I'm going to go into second and just gonna see what he does so he's coming here I'm just gonna go into first Ooh. keep to the left indicate and come back around and go it should have gone into second then but it was a tight one just gonna take it very slow here because there's loads of pedestrians so I'm just gonna stop with this one because it's nice to just let them go, isn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna go around. This bend, I don't like it very much. I know it's a 20 zone here. I'm just gonna keep it very slow. <clears throat> So you can do this on your test, can you? You just talk through yourself. Yeah, in fact, examiners, a lot of them, they really like it because you're letting them know what your intention is. Mm. Good. Have the traffic lights turn light, please. Checking my mirrors. And I'm going to position here. Stopping before the line. Just... It's gonna be weird not talking with someone on the test. <laughs> I'll just to talk to myself. Like <laughs> I suppose though they don't overdo it because they don't want you to turn around and say, Oh, you're distracting me today. That's why I didn't drive home. Yeah, I guess that's true. But so well. if you want to talk, talk. I'm just gonna stop about here. after this van mm. you know when you see those school sign with with 20 if it's not within school hours can you do more is because that's advisory isn't it correct so you can actually do more This one. 
<laughs> we were just worrying about where the roundabout was, weren't we? Yeah, it was. Well, check your mirror and then wonder. <laughs> okay. Sorry, you caught me there. isn't it so I can just go in I still need to give way so oh I'm just gonna keep it very slow and I can go Thinking back on that slip road, I should have probably taken second because it took me a while to build up the speed after it. Okay. Why does second help you get it going better? Because it's stronger. Right. Head towards wall, please. <laughs> I'm going to do that one then. <laughs> That was can't awful. Do, yeah, can't do anything about that, don't worry. It's not your fault. That was actually awful. I haven't seen any new signs. I'm just going to assume it's 30 on this road. Yeah. That road was 40. Yeah. Look there, it says 30 in that uh, little housing development there. Isn't that for the other road? Yeah. What does that mean if you see a 30 in there? It's probably 40 here. Right, <laughs> oh, it could be. And now okay. it's going to be 50. Just wait till you get to the gate and get it going. <laughs> no fracking. <laughs> Mm. I'm trying to make the most of the speed limit but I don't really feel comfortable going all the way up to 50 because it's really wet but we'll give it a go right isn't it so I can just go round okay
one then. best friend so you don't store You can just put it inside, but I don't know if they'll help much. Who knows? We'll see what we've got later. See if we can use it. I've got enough time or do we need to take an exit? Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. We're going to be leaving soon. Yeah. We're just going to hold back for a, yeah, a bit because we'll I'm too we'll close to him. Soon, yeah. But I like that you want to make progress and that's good. Turning right. I'll let you know where.
rest, hydrate. <laughs> yeah, and then drive away when you're ready. How does this happen? Just like that. I've never done that before. <laughs> when it's safe. Because you just want to get it going. Yeah, yeah, man. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how to put on the rear fog light? Sure. One second. <laughs>
Okay. While we're stationary, do you want to find where the rear pub light is? Is this one? Yep, that's it. I'll ask you to do that again when we're on the move in a bit. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was here, but I I wanted to know which one of them, because there's two. Obviously, this is the front one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't... That's all right. Drive away when you're ready. Bye, spot check again. Bye, spot check. <laughs> oh god. No, I'm not gonna signal. There's a car coming, so I'll wait. There's just that bend, and I'm not sure if there's gonna be oncoming cars. Is he thinking? Won't be able to get round us with the oncoming cars. No, so should I just go? I would. Oh, I'm not going. Because I'm not in gear. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Why does it always happen on video? No, because I was too focused on not rolling back you were, for that yeah, car. Yeah, you were. So silly things happen when we're under pressure, don't they? Yeah. Oh God, it's better that it happens with me than on yeah. the days. <laughs> so, don't worry. See, I, I know what I have to take, do. Take the it's from just every that. Experience. Mm. It's interesting how your mind works when you're under pressure. You just yeah. just works against you. That guy was probably thinking, what on earth are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Can I just raise my hand to thank him? <laughs> well, you know, um, a diamond was just a piece of coal once that did particularly well under pressure. Exactly, exactly. Well, so make sure you get used to dealing with this. be behind me anymore. <laughs> I'm sure you'll edit this video, Paul, so I'll look good. <laughs> everything for everyone's entertainment. We're not here to mock you, you're here to do your own mock. Yeah, but you know people need to learn from it because um, one thing when you try to do a hill start being first gear. <laughs> yeah, I could, have, I could see it happening a, a mile away I could. <laughs> And check your blind spots as yeah, well. I was just curious as to what you're going to do, how you're going to behave. I don't really 
mind that, to be honest. But I mean the roundabout, but I couldn't have seen that they're here, so uh, uh, I'm just did, um did well, I'm, I'm in first gear, yes. Yeah. People watching your video are probably gonna think this girl talks way too much. Usually this doesn't happen on mock tests. I'm not gonna do that with the uh, examiner though. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably going to fail me for that. <laughs> like I said before, if it makes you feel better, yeah. the best out of you, then do do it. No, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to, you know, you make unnecessary private... commentary about oh, certain yeah. things and. Well, not that this is unnecessary, but obviously for the sake of the video. You can put your favorite music on if that makes you feel better. Oh, I can I can have music on. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I think we need to try driving with music because I haven't done that before, have I? I can arrange that. Mm. I'm just gonna follow the road ahead. These workers are everywhere. We're gonna go to a pub. We're going to do some parking to finish. And then have a beer. What's he doing? What's he telling you? That he wants to go in somewhere, a uh, park. Yeah, it's a bit unusual, but he did have the indicator on, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it was fine. He didn't do anything wrong. Correctly, the pub is somewhere around here, isn't it? Yeah. Down the line. You know that guy? Yes. That was my old friend Paul Buckley. Oh. He used to work for Rio. Brilliant driver instructor. And now he works for Royal Mail. Ooh. What would you be doing, Paul, if you weren't an instructor? Just to write yeah. to the pub here. Um, Very interesting question though. You just slowly get your car towards the back of the car park. Yeah, one second, I'm just gonna go into first so I can good idea. And there pause the car for a moment. Do you? <laughs> okay, so as you wish. Okay, I'm not, I wasn't going to do that anyway. Can I reverse to reposition myself on this road? I just want to take it a bit wider, that's all. He wants to park there where I want to park. Well, don't you wait and see where he's going to go and then you can choose a space. He's doing nicely. Or she. I'll just, uh, I'll reposition, I won't wait for them. I'll okay. reposition and I'll just, um, just go that way then.
so I did it okay. It's not at an angle. This is a this is a premiere on video. Engine off, please relax. Okay, <clears throat> how was that? That was approximately right. So, as far as I can think, going on the line at that um, traffic light traffic would have been light. a fail. Yes, breaching the line can't do it. Yeah, well, but it was it was a tight instead? space. I should have edged forward and probably stay at an angle until yeah. the red light was gone. Yeah, and then I should have gone. Yeah, if you're doing a drive test yeah. <laughs> in Litchfield, do that. Um, then what else? I know my mirror checks wasn't weren't spot on, but I don't think that would have necessarily been a serious because there wasn't any danger. Um, was there? No, they're pretty good for the most part. Your mirror checks were pretty good. Um, just the occasional thing, especially if you're if you're following the road ahead at a roundabout, check the left door mirror before you come to the left side of the road. Yeah. And then, and then signal if you need to. But <clears throat> for the most part, I've got no complaints about the mirrors. And a few mishaps and a few roundabouts where I was going to be too Talk fast. Talk to me about pulling over, what's been going on today. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that, so one, two blind spot checks missed. So one was the hill start, which happened on that quiet road. And I didn't check and that would have been a fail. Would I? Here's would a tricky it? bit. Gonna, there were no cars they're, they're around. They're going to ask you to pull over maybe four or five times, perhaps. Yeah. Remember blind spots. Um, then they might give you the benefit of the doubt once. But if I do it twice, then it's then it's a fail. Then it's a problem. Really, you should you should be checking those blind spots, shouldn't you? Yeah, uh, and so obviously what, what happened the second time. The second time, um, there was incoming traffic, and the guy behind me couldn't go. I didn't go into gear and I was trying to do a hill start so I was rolling back when I realized I wasn't into gear I went into gear I, I took way too long to move first of all so it was an inconvenience for him mm -hmm. and then uh, because of everything that was going on I didn't check my blind spot mm -hmm. so that would have been my fail as well yeah three well, fails yeah, everyone that was a good analysis really if if there's cars waiting behind, if they are waiting and they can't get round you, yeah. particularly because of oncoming traffic. That hasn't happened before, has no? it? It's quite mm. uncommon yeah. that it will happen. Yeah. But I think because it was go. quite a narrow road yeah. and he was busy. I know that um, when you're thinking about doing a hill start and getting your feet just right, not just you specifically, I'm talking people in general, pupils, novice drivers, they're tense usually people are tense about getting their feet set correctly yeah. to drive away and then they'll forget the little detail like the blind spot check yeah uh, so definitely it was interesting i think it was interesting because i like you driving and i think i think you're in a, a good situation you your test isn't too far away and this has just revealed one or two things that we weren't aware of before and it shows you how nerves can play a part with um, making you do things that you wouldn't normally do. Yeah, but as I said before, I'd rather experience these things now while I'm doing my lessons because yeah. then I won't do them again. At least I think I won't do I them again. I say to people all the time, you know, people will say, oh, I wouldn't normally do that. It's just because you're filming today, Paul. I'm like, I'm like, I don't I, think I, I've got, I think because every time we've done, because we've done mock tests before, haven't we? Yeah. I think every time there's always been something that was quite new that I haven't done before. But since I've done those mistakes, I've never repeated them again, mm -hmm. have yeah. I? So yeah. it's kind of a good opportunity for you to move forward and yeah. do other mistakes. Yeah. But Kind of try and squeeze you yeah. in as many different ways as I can to find out. And today the there have been are. a few situations that haven't happened before, which um, were quite interesting, like that car behind me. How did you feel about driving in the wet weather? It wasn't too bad. I could feel that the car doesn't have as much grip, so the wheels are quite 
um when i can't really describe it to be honest it's like such a weird feeling mm -hmm. sometimes you would accelerate and nothing would happen for a while because there is not enough grip yeah um, and yeah. then suddenly you would get a boost of speed yeah. if you try it for too long, I guess. Um, in terms of stopping, I have been trying to stop earlier, to come to a stop earlier, so braking earlier, so mm -hmm. I don't, you know, slip out into a roundabout or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah. It's not been too bad. I, I think, think I've, I think we've ha we've had worse weather before. Um, to, in during the day, I feel like it's all right, but when it gets dark, and obviously you get all the uh, the headlights from the cars with the rain, it makes it a bit difficult to see. I feel like. Okay. But today has been all right. So, you rate anything? yourself out of ten. I'd say it was really bad. Overall, it was a good drive. Um, I would say seven and a half ish. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd so I've agree. reduced the point for each mistake. The I'd, half I'd, is I'd for. I agree, and it seems worse than it is, doesn't it? You, yeah. You, um, we, I know we, I had better days, we but we have to pull you over more often and get you under even more pressure. We yeah. Know what, we know what to do now, don't we? Uh, yeah. That's it then, I oh, guess. good. So it's a fail, everyone. <laughs> if you didn't notice. Not many people pass uh, a mock driving test yeah. uh, when I'm filming it. Yeah. Uh, have you have you had a pass? Have you, yes. I think you did, but not in Lichfield, as yes, far as I'm I know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's maybe one, maybe two. I don't know. But, um, no. I, I like to keep putting the pressure on so that you become a much stronger version of yourself when you're out on your own yeah if you if you can deal with you know deal deal with everything comfortably then i'm gonna feel that i've done my job properly yeah All definitely. Right. well let me know what you think guys uh leave your questions and comments down below i hope you gained something useful out of this little um tutorial this afternoon and um, please leave a thumbs up and a subscribe if you uh, if you did. Bye for now. See you later.